Thanks so much. Breaking news continuing this morning. First and on local 15 news. Firefighters have been on the scene of a four alarm house fire in the 6000 block of Wilmer Road for about two hours now. Our local 15 Stephen Quinn has been live from the scene all morning. And this was a close call for a very large family, Stephen, but they are OK this morning, but we still feel for them. They've lost a lot. They have, Darwin. We'll get to them in a minute, but the danger still continues for the firefighters that are in our area. Darwin, I want to show you. Remember Chief Cooper in our interview talked about this area right over here, the left side of the house that had begun to rekindle. That area, while we were away from you, in fact, had rekindled, and there was a firefighter, in fact, walking in front of that area. It may be very tough to see, but you see some bricks there in the very front of the, the lawn there. That is actually where part of the roof collapsed on one of those firefighters. Again, the danger is still very real as they work to put out the remnants of this firefight. That firefighter himself was okay, but again, underscoring Darwin, as I mentioned, how this is a tough and long process and how it's very dangerous what these, these volunteer firefighters have to do. Many of them will, in fact, have to head back to work. A few of them approached me just a minute ago wanting to know what time it was. Again, some of them having to be at work. You mentioned the McDowell family, a family of five, along with uh, Mr. and Mrs. McDowell. They, as we mentioned, they weren't able to make it out of here okay. They do attend Wilmer Baptist Church. Again, if you're trying to get a hold of them and would like to, to take care of them, they do have a home, thankfully, next door. And they are, I am told that they do have a safe place to stay today, but obviously a very close call and still a very uh, dangerous situation for the firefighters who are trying to put out that fire here off Wilmer Road. Darwin? All right, so uh, if you have a volunteer firefighter in your employment, give them a break today, right, Stephen? Absolutely. These guys have had a long, tough day. As you, as you heard Chief Cooper saying, they got the call around 2.30 this morning, and he is telling us again that they expect to be out here for at least another three hours, maybe more. So it's going to be a very long day for the men and women of the volunteer fire departments here in Mobile. Okay, we'll try to get a shout out to all those departments a little bit later on this morning. Thank you so much, Steve. We'll check in with you in a few minutes.